Hey Vancouver Canucks fans, before we dive into today's exclusive news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with all the latest from Vancouver Canucks news today. Now let's get into it. Vancouver Canucks made a splash on the first day of free agency by signing Jake DeBrusque to a 7-year, $38.5 million contract. DeBrusque, who spent his entire career with the Boston Bruins, has had his share of success particularly in the playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs. However, his inconsistent play often left Bruins fans frustrated, and his high asking price was too much for Boston to justify. DeBrusque's potential is undeniable. When he's on his game, he's one of the fastest players on the ice and can find the back of the net better than most. But when he's not moving his feet, can be a liability. The question now is whether a change of scenery will reignite DeBrusque's career. He had a disappointing 19 goals and 21 assists in 80 games last season, but contributed 11 points in 13 playoff games. Can the Canucks and their fans handle DeBrusque's inconsistencies if he delivers in the playoffs? If the Canucks can find the right fit for him, DeBrusque might prove to be worth the investment. Canucks needed a game changer. The Canucks struggled offensively in the playoffs last season, ranking near the bottom in goals per game among teams that advanced beyond the first round. Ironically, the Boston Bruins were the only team worse, but that wasn't DeBrusque's fault. He led the Bruins in goals and points during the playoffs, outshining stars like David Pasternak and Brad Marchand. In fact, his playoff performance would have ranked him second in goals and third in points on the Canucks. Only JT Miller and Brock Bozer outperformed DeBrusque in goals and points, which makes sense since they were on the same line. DeBrusque will immediately become a key player for the Canucks in the postseason, adding depth and experience to Rick Tochet's lineup. With 27 goals and 47 points in 86 career playoff games, including a standout performance in the 2019 Stanley Cup Final, DeBrusque knows how to deliver. In big moments, DeBrusque was also part of the best regular season team in NHL history in 2022-23 and had a career high in goals. His winning pedigree will be crucial for the Canucks. Need more scoring to get past their rivals, the Edmonton Oilers. Last season, they held a 3-2 series lead over the Oilers, failed to close it out. Can DeBrusque become the Oilers killer that the Canucks need? just as he was for the Bruins against the Maple Leafs. DeBrusque is a natural fit with Elias Pettersson. One of the Canucks' biggest issues in the postseason was Elias Pettersson's lack of production. They struggled to find a solid line mate for him, resulting in just one goal and five assists in 13 games. DeBrusque is expected to be Pettersson's new line mate, and this could be a perfect match. DeBrusque's best seasons came when he played alongside David Krejci with whom he had career-high goals in 2018-19 and again in 2022-23 when Krejci returned from playing in the Czech Republic. Pedersen, like Krejci, is a pass-first center who can also score when given the chance. DeBrusque's speed complements Pedersen's ability to slow the game down and make precise passes. If DeBrusque and Pedersen find chemistry during training camp, don't be surprised to see DeBrusque approach career-high numbers this season. The Canucks' investment in DeBrusque could pay off significantly if he helps unlock Pedersen's potential. So, Canucks fans, what do you think about this signing? Will Jake DeBrusque live up to the hype and help the Canucks make a deep playoff run? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exclusive Canucks news. See you next time.